the house is still there. Uh, it's where the visitors centre is. I have uh, memories from when I was, well, about two, three year old. The only thing I can tell you about the house is they had a open fire with a sway on it, which is now outside in my garden. Uh, and uh, the kettle was always, it was a big black cast iron kettle, was always on there, uh, full of water, getting ready for the the next guest to arrive in the house with the for the tea. And uh, so uh, you pulled it out to take it off the heat and then you had to use a glove or, or something uh, to protect your, your hand because the whole kettle got roasting hot. We used to sleep in calf beds, which was the, the sort of chaff off the grains when it goes through the thrashing mill and it was really soft stuff and it was put into things like you would call them duvet covers now but this was probably more like pillowcases then and uh, that was what the bed was but there was uh, I remember a horse hair mattress below it uh, which would have probably been the means where they were they were uh, used prior t or below the calf and it was very very warm uh, these beds uh, I remember the thing that sticks in my head was always in the farmhouses there was the heat in that room was always really hot because the fire was stacked up with peats and, and wood and I always remember they had the windows open by about four or five inches and every night the flies came in and the moths came in so my granny always had two or three of that uh, sticky fly ribbons I don't know what you call them uh, hung up and uh, within a a week they were covered in, in flies. <laughs>